What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Uranium version. I didn't think I'd be saying that again so soon, but I guess that seems to happen a lot with these fan game nows. Anyway, a new update has come out for this game and so we find ourselves back in it. But before we begin, I do want to mention, because I know a lot of people are probably going to be wondering this, there is no new story update to this new update. There is an update with a lot of new content, but there's actually no new story. So if you've already beaten up to the 7th gym, you can't go to the 8th gym yet. That'll actually be in the next one. But this update does come with a lot of new cool stuff and so I decided to check it out because a lot of people told me in the comments that there was a new update, so I thought I would do it and show you guys exactly what has been changed. So we're gonna go through each and everything and I've just realized this intro is awesome, man. We've been playing a lot of fan games lately, but this has gotta be one of the better intros or the best ones, I guess is better to say. What is better to say? I don't know, but look at that. There was an invisible ghost running along the beach for a second there and oh, well, it looks like one of the updates here already is the title screen because uh, the mascot Pokemon here, it used to be a drawing, I think, but now it looks more like a sprite and I really like that glowing. It makes me wonder if Pokemon Z will ever actually be revealed officially and Zygarde, the new form that they announced and whatever or haven't announced yet, when will that come out? Anyway, um, this is, I guess, starting us off here. We're going to show off all the new stuff that there is. So there is actually a lot and I have a, a little notepad open of all of the new updates. So if you guys are excited for another episode here, make sure to leave a like. And when the update to the story actually does come out, of course we will check it out. But the first thing I gotta do is make my screen bigger because I don't know, for some reason I just really cannot play on the smaller screen. And that was one problem that I had with Ethereal Gates is you couldn't actually update or big, make the screen size bigger. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to check out is, well, I guess we can check out that the update is 4.3 and you can download it down in the description. So go ahead and check it out and download this for yourself. It's actually really simple and it doesn't mess with your save file because as you can see, I've got my save file good to go here and I didn't really have to drag any folders or anything. You just download it and you're good to go. So the first thing is that in mystery gift, we will see that there's no new gifts available because I've already actually picked them up. So I'll show you guys the two gifts that were available. It was actually a shiny Chimaconda or actually Chimical, the first evolution, Chimical and Chimaconda. One of the Pokemon that I actually used on my team, but this time there's a shiny version of it and it even has a fancy new sprite to go along with it. And the other thing, is a Destiny Knot. I'm not sure what the importance of the Destiny Knot is, but it is one of the mystery gifts, so I thought I would show it off. Anyway, we can pick those up in the Pokemon Mart, but what we're gonna do instead is actually start a new game. And why is it showing us that we need an update when I meant to hit new game? There we go. So we're gonna go regular mode, and the reason we're starting a new game here, just in case you're wondering, is because there is actually an all new playable character. So we're gonna check out who that is in just a second, as Ernest Bambo himself is gonna lay down the law on what is going on, but we don't really need any info, so just go ahead and go on to showing us, uh, what was this guy's name? I'm actually gonna try to remember, it was, it was something with ball in it, wasn't it? No, it was just an iron ball Pokemon, but I don't remember what its name was, actually. Just remember, it was the Balls of Steel, man, we fought a lot of those guys. Um, we might have even had one on our team, but anyway, we're here to check out this new character. So, normally you'd have the boy and the girl character, and now there's actually a third one that you can play as, so we've got... Who cares? And it's Pluto. So it's, I guess, kind of like a, not, it's like an in-between, I guess. So if you don't really care what you're playing as, you can pick this character. And his default name is Pluto, so we're gonna go, or his or her default name. I guess you can't really specify that either with this character. That's the whole point of the characters. It's non-specific. So point is, Pluto is uh, the third character, and we're gonna pick it and check out the sprite at least so that we can see what he looks like in the actual game. I'm gonna just keep saying he because I guess, in English, it's more common when you don't know a gender to just go with he. Because I feel like that kind of happens in some anime where they have like non-specific characters and they end up calling them he even though it might not be. I just realized we've already seen this whole plot. So if you guys want to check out the full plot, go check out episode one of this playthrough um, because I, we're already on like episode 31 and this is not actually an official episode. I guess it's more so showing off what has been changed in the game. So we're going to go ahead and skip over this to when we actually get to play as our boy Pluto or girl Pluto. And here we are. And I've also realized I think that was a new song there at the intro because the game has a lot of new original songs, which is another thing I really loved about uh, Pokemon Ethereal Gates is that it actually had its own custom music. Um, now, one thing that I noticed about the update, and I don't know if that's just this game is like that and I didn't notice it before, but 
I feel like I'm going a lot faster than I used to, especially when we get the running shoes later on. I feel like the character walks a lot faster, but not sure about that one. Oh, hey, it's Grandma. Oh, Pluto, I'm so sorry. Why do you have to go? No, don't answer that. I know perfectly why. If only these old bones could do more so that I could support the both of us. But let's not dwell on the past. Here, here, I brought you some new shoes for your journey. I'm wondering if it ever says he or she whenever... You know, another character is addressing our character, because I'm just as confused as maybe some people watching are, but here it is. We got the running shoes now, and I feel like it goes a lot faster than it used to, but maybe that's just me thinking that, because I feel like I'm going at supersonic speed in this game, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me, so let me know what you guys think, because I feel like for sure I got the sonic shoes or something going on. Like, I'm about to spin dash my way out of this region, um, but that's the new character, Pluto, and we can check out the portrait here if we go into this one. And there it is. So that's about all there is for that one. So I think I might actually do a second file just because I really enjoyed this game and I want to play it through again on my free time. So I'm going to save this one and I think that should make a new save file by default. I hope it did at least. Hey, it actually did make another one. So now we can choose other save files and we got two of them going on. Oh, there, there's the old nuclear I used to know. Or it looks like it might be. I don't know what that Pokemon's name actually is. I think it's Nucleon or something. But anyway, now we're going to hop into our actual save file here that we are good and used to. And head over to the Pokemon Mart because that is where we can pick up the mystery gifts that we just saw earlier on. And that is the Shiny Chemical and the Destiny Knot. So we're in Legin Town. I think this was the place that was... Um, yeah, like right up here, there was a nuclear war zone or whatever the heck in this game. Not war zone, but the, there was a nuclear explosion and so we had to come seek refuge in this town. But the Pokemon Mart is right on over here and you'll see the nice delivery man. Hello, you must be orange. I received a gift for you. Here you go. And we're going to get Chemical. And we can also pick up that Destiny Knot. Again, I don't really know what's up with the Destiny Knot because it's kind of a weird item. Actually, I don't even remember what Destiny Knot... Oh. That dude just disappeared off the face of the earth, man. He is just, he is gone. He didn't even fade. He just, he just booked it out of there, man. So anyway, we're going to go into the bag and see what is up with this Destiny Knot. I guess there is the breeding aspect of it. And yeah, breeding did get updated. So never mind. That's why we have Destiny Knot because breeding has been updated to the whole Gen 6 rule. So there you go. Now it makes all make sense. Hey, maybe it's useful for, uh the chemical that we've got here because it is not only a shiny version and owned by the one and only JV creator of Uranium, but it also has the contrary nature, which may stat changes have an opposite effect. The only other Pokemon that I know that has this is like Superior, and I know people use like Coil on it or something like that. I think Malamar also has it and people use things that would normally uh, lower your stats like instead they'll end up raising them. So something like... Um, Draco Meteor would instead raise your special attack. So imagine a dragon Pokemon with Contrary. That would be pretty strong with the Dacro Meteor. Every time you use it, it just becomes more powerful. But um, there was also a new sprite for Chemical, and it is not the only Pokemon that actually got new sprites. So we're going to head in here and check out our very own Chemiconda. Don't got none unless you got Buns, Hun, and compare it to the regular ones. So yeah, you can see it's pretty much a color palette swap. I mean, that's what all shiny Pokemon are. But in this case, the tail becomes red and the body becomes green, so it's almost like a complete swap. Um, and regularly, he's got Petrify, which I think was a really cool ability. It's like Intimidate, but for speed instead, and I thought that was always really good, so I don't know if I'll train up this new chemical just because it's shiny. It is a really cool mystery gift, so make sure to grab it if you've got the game before they change it up into something else. And this guy's name was Barul. Yep, there it is. Um, so I don't know, I know that some Pokemon, oh, there we go, there's one with a new sprite. Chai and Monk here, that looks pretty new. We'll go through all the Pokemon, maybe some of them actually have new sprites, but... Okay, I actually did my homework, and it turns out, yes, Chai and Monk got one, but this is also a new sprite here for Grozard. Uh, Fortog and his evolution also got new spritings. Shoutin did get one, so I was correct about that one. So did Tancoon, and apparently this is a new sprite. Of all the Pokemon, Barul, who we saw all the way at the beginning, Got a new sprite as well, but it doesn't look that much difference, I guess, so I didn't notice it, but I think the tail might be new. Is it? I don't know, dude. I'm still dumb. But as far as that goes, I think that's about all the new, at least, sprite work. There are other Pokemon that did get new sprite work, but 
I guess I haven't caught them or just didn't realize. So if you guys noticed anything, you know, let me know in the comments what you thought of that. Uh, but aside from that, there's been a bunch of other updates, just quality of life changes that make the game run smoother. So it is definitely the time if you have been playing through this game or haven't played it since I did my playthrough. Definitely give it another try, maybe start a new Nuzlocke file or something like that because it would actually be a really cool time to start playing it over again because there's been a lot of updates not only to the uh, sprites but also the Pokemon moves, stats, and everything like that has been updated. And there's even two new Pokemon but I don't know where they're actually found. Um, they're called Unimp and Harp Terra, but I have no idea where they're found so maybe we can look for those in a little bit. But for now, let's check out the new battle music and also the new battle HUD heads up display for your head. Look at that. So, wait, I've actually just realized where's the HP bar? <laughs> I know Drogan's got two out of 166, but where the heck is his HP? I don't even know. I guess we'll go for an earthquake, which should take out this tropin. Oh, well, that answers that question. The HP bar is actually that bar in the backdrop behind the burn and all of that that is pretty cool so yeah all of that has been revamped and of course there's a new battle music which sounds really cool i like the uh, victory theme actually that sounded pretty awesome um so let me pull out oh i should have actually gotten the shiny chemical so that we could show it off a little bit but we'll go for our own kimikonda don't oh my gosh that sounds so good Overall, there are mostly quite a quality of life changes, so the game looks better, runs better, sounds better for sure. I really like the new music, and I'm trying to run into a normal chemical here just so that we can see it. I can't run into a regular chemical, I don't know why. Normally, they're found pretty common in this route, but for whatever reason, I can't find one, so we're gonna forget about that. Um, but just to go over all the other stuff that has been updated, there is updated battle and breeding mechanics to Generation 6, so everything is up to date now with X and Y and Omega Ruby. Um, there is Shaking Grass and Dust Clouds, which can build up, so we'll see if we can maybe find one of those eventually. I haven't seen any Shaking Grass just yet, and I was playing for a little bit before recording the video, so... There's some Shaking Grass right there, so we can run into this, and maybe there will be a slightly rarer Pokemon, or higher level or something, I don't know. Usually there's different Pokemon in that kind of grass, but I guess maybe not for this trick way here. Um, but there's also online battles, which is pretty awesome, so if you do decide to start a new save file and build up a new team, maybe consider building it up for, like, competitive battling, because that would be pretty cool. I know that Insurgents also has that, and it's a really cool thing in there that you can actually battle with their, like, uh, Delta Pokemon and stuff like that. So in this game, because everything is Fakemon, it would be really awesome to build teams. Well, actually, not everything, but most of them are Fakemon. It would be really cool to build some teams around. Pokemon that you wouldn't normally see or like completely new Pokemon basically um, but the last thing that we can I guess show off is that new Pokemon but I have no idea where to found it so maybe I can look up where it actually is and we can show that off we're on the hunt for these new Pokemon and I found out that they are bug Pokemon and so they might be located in what was known as the Ant Hell and I think that was near this place Amitri Town so we're not really that far away we'll see if we can make it there actually I I mean, the game speed was updated, so we might as well run through this region and take a little trip down memory lane into what we used to play all the time, because it's kind of weird. I've been, like, running through all these games lately, and I just realized, do we even have any repels? Come on, man. I gotta have... There we go. I got some repels in here. All right. We're gonna take a little trip down memory lane and go through some of the stuff that we went through in this game, because I've been running through these games lately, and I feel like I don't have enough time to actually, like remember what a lot of them bring to the table so it's cool to get a little reminder and that's why I constantly like I'm playing through them again at least some of the games like I tend to play over and over like I don't know why man it's just a lot of Pokemon and I can't stop playing it and hey there's some oh well, I guess we messed it up but there was some rubble there and there's some danger there and what I was gonna point out is that the rubble is a new feature as well um with the shaking grass, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. You can find slightly rarer Pokemon, uh, but we didn't actually get to see that because we weren't in a cave earlier. And now we seem to be lost in a cave because I don't know where the exit of this place is. It looks like we're just going up and up a tunnel. Oh, wait, isn't this the place where we fought? Um, what the heck, man? Why can't I run into the dust patches? I'm just trying to get some dust rub some duff stuff, you know, dust off this game because we haven't played it in a while. All right. Anyway, we're out of here. We're out of here. I think this is the place where we fought that uh, Grozard's evolution, which is a rock dragon of some kind. Whatever the evolution may have been called, I think we fought it there. Um, but the area that we're actually looking for is over this way, and I believe we needed strength to get over there, but we should have strength at this point. 
Yes, we do. Who's got it? It's Bariet. Wait, I have this Pokemon? What the heck? Oh yeah, it has a Mega Evolution too. Oh man, see, that's the thing that I love is coming back to these games after a while and remembering all the good stuff, even some of the main series Pokemon games. Like I tend to forget about a lot of stuff in them after a while. Like Pokemon Platinum, I could go back and play through it right now. It would be almost like a new experience because I haven't played that game in so long and that's something that I love about it. And here's actually one of the other Pokemon that we've got. We have two Pokemon whose names originally started with uh, Chi or Chai, Chikawaddle and Chimaconda. Well, that's interesting. I never really thought about that. But in here, I think, is where that Pokemon is. So let's start running around for a little bit and see if we can actually find it. At least I think this is where they were added because it's actually more common outside. So I came back out and there it is. It is Unimp. Unimp, Unimp, Unimp. I'm trying to think of what that name might be. I know that nymphs are like fictional creatures, but I don't think that's what this thing is based off. It is a bug type Pokemon, but we'll find out exactly what a secondary typing is in a second here. Looks like it's not poison at least though, but it has replaced Dwebble in the game because Dwebble used to be in the game, but I guess little old Dwebble was not the Dwebble that could. So now Unimp has taken over as uh, a new bug Pokemon, I guess in this game, and it evolves at level 30. So if I can find an easy way to train up I could actually try and- oh my gosh, I don't have any Pokeballs. Well, rip the dream, man. There it is, it's Unimp. I guess we can check out the Pokedex. Does it tell us what typing it is? Uh, I'm not sure, but that's the new Pokemon. It evolves at level 30, and it evolves into a pretty awesome looking Pokemon, which I could also just show off to you guys because there's actually a picture of it that I found on the forums. Hey, there's a uh, Fulrog. This guy's got a new sprite too. Oh yeah, he totally- he looks completely different. This guy looks like he lost a couple pounds too, but I don't remember what his original one looked like. But I remember this guy used to look almost exactly like Fortog. So now he's on all fours and then he just uh, drops a bunch of weight and becomes that. So if it replaced Dwebble, yeah, then they should be in here because we saw a Crustal before. There it is. Harp Terra, the evolution of it. And we don't actually get to see what type it is. So that's unfortunate. If only, if only I'd actually brought some Pokeballs, we could figure it out. Ah, <sighs> the hunt will never be over. Alright, we got our another chance to catch this guy now. I only bought 10 Great Balls. That was maybe not my greatest idea. Maybe I should have brought some more because I actually had a ton of money to spend in the game. So, don't know. Maybe I should have considered buying more than 10 of them. But I believe in the heart of the balls today. And we are going to catch this unit and figure out exactly what type you are and what you're even based off of because it looks to me like a bug mixed in with like a Venus flytrap of some kind with that tail that it's got going on. Its evolution is more like a dragonfly. That one seems a little more obvious, but this one is the nymph Pokemon. What? I thought a nymph was like a forest creature, but nope, they didn't have it. Mucky bogs and swamps, although they're somewhat slow and weak in battle, they can extend their jaws to rapidly deliver powerful blow. And it's just a pure bug type Pokemon, so pure bug maybe evolves into a bug in flying. Um, it does evolve at 30, so it would only need three levels, but I highly doubt we can find a place to train that guy up, unless we can go to one of the later areas. And now with these two new Pokemon in hand, Flager and Unimp, we can show off some pretty cool stuff. So first off, Flager evolves by Firestone. We're gonna go for that. And second off, his evolution in Flagetta, looking pretty awesome by the way, has a Mega Evolution. And I think we might actually have the stone to Mega Evolve it. So let me just check. Yep, there it is, the Inflagetta. I'm pretty sure I wanted this Pokemon for a very long time. Now we finally get to show it off. But first off, let's check out Inflagetta's Mega Evolution, taking on this Dunsparce. Might be a little bit of overkill, but we'll see, man. We'll see. I don't even think at level 24, will it even one-shot it? I don't know, but Mega Evolution away, and bada-boom, there is Inflagetta. Mega Inflagetta, actually. Look at- he's got rockets on his shoulders, dude. What is going on with this Pokemon? I actually really want to see what this sprite looks like, because... Holy, what the- <laughs> Wow, that is pretty crazy. He's literally got jetpacks on his shoulders and his back shoulders, I guess. And he's got a giant fire coming out of his butt. That is pretty crazy. I love it, though. I actually wanted to use this Pokemon on my team, but I ended up going with Chimaconda because it's typing. Uh, just look at a little bit cooler. Like, fire and poison is not something you see every day, so... Yeah, this guy is pure fire type, but is really awesome looking. 
Um, but that's what it is. Now, let's try and evolve the other guy. Well, we found a person that apparently I've never battled before, so... Good opportunity to hear the new battle theme, the battle intro, I guess. He's only got one Pokemon, though, but... Yeah, sadly, that won't be enough experience to, uh, get the two level ups that we need on UNMP here. Do we need two? Two more after we got 28, which we're pretty much gonna get off of this guy here, but he's only got one Pokemon, but... We get to hear the new battle music, so that's cool, and I also get to realize that Coatlet does not have any flying type attacks, so not a good idea to send him into this battle. I was hoping he'd have some flying attack. Oh my gosh, he's also getting nice and lowered on that special attack, but I guess uh, Dragon Claw is physical, so it's not that big of a deal. Wow, this is some really cool music, man. I can't stop saying it, but it's just cool to hear Pokemon games have their own music when you're used to just hearing the same songs over and over, even though they change gen to gen, like, they're really similar regardless, and these just feel a little bit original, like, they're not trying to be like the regular themes. I guess they still have a vibe, like, you can tell this is a trainer battle theme, but it just sounds awesome. And we're learning Screech here, it's not a big deal because I, I, I don't think I'm gonna use this Pokemon, I just wanna see its evolution. But anyway, it's Swimmer, Swimmer, whatever, Glub, Glub, Glub. Wait a second, you don't evolve at 30, you evolve earlier than that, because we only needed one level, and Unimp is already evolving. Alright, I thought it was level 30, but I guess that is kind of high for a Bug-type Pokemon. Anyway, here it is, Harptera. And I'm gonna guess it's a Bug and Flying type, it's actually trying to learn Air Slash right now, so yeah. Makes sense for it to be a little bit of a Flying type when it is learning a Flying type attack right now, so... We'll go ahead and get rid of that mud spore. I don't think that'll be too helpful for you, buddy. It's just, uh, just a little thought that popped into my head. And now we'll check out this evolution. Yeah, he is level 28 right now. Bug and flying type. With the Moxie ability. I think it can also have Gale Wings or another ability that I forgot. Uh, Aerial 8. I don't know if Gale Wings actually, but I know it can have Aerial 8, which powers up your flying type moves or actually makes normal type moves into flying type. But ours has Moxie, which... Of course, a pretty good ability. Um, I know it mostly from Salamence and I guess uh, certain other bug Pokemon, bug and flying actually, if you mega evolve it, named Pinsir. But anyway, that is going to be it for this short little update on Uranium. Guys, like I said, there's not really any new story, but when there is, I'll go ahead and resume this series. But I hope you all enjoyed it. Go and download the new update, play through the game again. If you didn't do so before, you, this is your chance, man. Go and play Uranium. I love it and you should love it too. And I'll see you all in the next episode.